Still a little bit dark outside, so I'm gonna give it another like five ten minutes. Um, it's five twenty four. <sighs> My first seven hour ride in actually since November when I did that overnight all decks, but prior to that, I can't remember the last time I've done over like six and a half hours. Um, so we're gonna do hopefully find a circuit today, which I've planned out. I'm gonna do two hours straight of like upper zone three sweet spot. Um, and that's gonna be an hour into the ride. So I found a cute little circuit around Carmel, which some of you will know. You can see here, so this is my first hour here. And then four laps of this circuit. And then back to the house. And then I'm going to do another couple of hours in the hills to hopefully get us up to 190. of calm like I said and uh, on the last leg now we have three hours on Betis Mountain. There's kids playing out there already. Mm -hmm. I just gotta locate some shorts and I can go away. It's raining as well. This is adding to the atmosphere of the ride. But I'm feeling good. I probably didn't have to stop, but I needed to fill up bottles. Uh, but while I'm here, I thought I'd have like a 10 minute coffee break. Cheers. Long rides certainly don't take as much out to me as they used to. It's pretty amazing how your body adapts. You know, I'm talking like year on year. Like, I could probably finish this ride. I could probably be pretty knackered in the next three hours, but like considering I've just done four hours and 2 hours 20 of that has been at 5.1 watts per kilo like one, one block with no rest and I've, I don't think I've ever done that before not even in a race but to be fair no climb is like 2 hours and 20 minutes but I'm just accumulating time accumulating time in the zone
was good. Seven hours, 197 kilometers. It's like 3,900 meters of climbing. I thought it'd be over 4,000 tomorrow, so I'm not gonna chase that number. Um, that was good. That was, that was real good. Um, unfortunately, I had some bad news from a uh, band of climbers. Who, um, you know, I'm very grateful that that they invited me out to do the tour, the tour to stations, with them uh, in a couple of weeks, and I've just had a I've just had a message from them not so long ago, um, basically saying that uh, the tour to stations uh, has contacted them. It's oversubscribed, or at least the Ultra Fondo route, which was the route that I think all of us were going to do. Um, all ten of us, because we were given ten, ten spaces. Um, it's been oversubscribed, and they had to cut numbers down from four thousand to fifteen hundred due to the COVID and, and Swiss law. Uh, that's fifteen hundred across all routes, so only fifteen hundred riders are going to be there. And I think there's only six hundred doing the ultra. So the ten places that band of climbers had, uh, only one of those places is now going to the to the ultra, and they're very kindly. They very kindly said that I can I can do the ultra, um, and the rest of them are gonna step down and do either the ground fund or the medial fund or which, you know I'm I'm kind of preparing for it, and it would be a shame if I was you know to do all this training. Not that you know the other guys are doing you know just as much training for this, but they're obviously a great bunch of people. I've done all I wanted to do. Um, I've only got kind of one or two more rides now potentially that I'd call like gold standard rides that I want to nail before um, before August the 8th, I think it's August the 8th that this is on. Uh, I'm going to have myself a recovery pizza, just like Phil Guyman. Alright, don't hate me, there's pineapple on there. I just wanted something sweet and salty when I finished my ride, so, and truth be told, like I know you all like to know about nutrition, but if you can't have something that you really fancy on a day when you burn 6,000 calories, then like when would you ever have it? So, um, yeah, I'm going to enjoy this pizza and I'm hopefully going to do uh, a little Zwift race this evening, which will cap off a brilliant 24 hours and um, also will allow us to kind of test, because I've already set new personal best powers now for seven hours today. Um, because I've never done a ride over, over six hours with an average power or normalized power as high as 260, 270, which is like four, just over four watts per kilo, 4.2 watts per kilo. So all new PBs over distance and time durations, um, I feel fine. So we'll have a bit of fun this evening, uh, just for half an hour or something, and that'll finish off our, uh, finish off our day.